Joseph and Moses. Now at the time of Joshua, they were about to go into the land. And Bible say, Judah was called upon to lead them into the land. Twelve tribe of Israel. He was not the firstborn. He was not the secondborn. He was not the thirdborn. He was the fourthborn. We have Reuben. We have Simon. We have Levi. Then we have Judah. How come it was Judah? How come it was Judah? When the Israelite, when the when, when, when the sons of Jacob were bringing Jacob to see Joseph in Egypt, in Egypt, Jacob got into Egypt and he sent for Judah to go and tell Joseph that now they have arrived in. Why? Where was Reuben? Where was Simon? Where? Why was it Judah? Why? And that is why I want to provoke you this morning to listen very carefully. The first four weeks of this year, as we enter, all what we'll be doing is praising God. Amen. Tell your neighbor, Judah means praise. Amen. No, no, you're not saying as if you mean it. Judah means praise. When your praises goes up, no, 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 no. Even before blessing comes, when your Psalm 22 verse 3, can you put it up, brother? Psalm 22 verse 3. When, when, when your praises comes up, please bear with me. We're not teaching. We're not preaching. I'm not. I just want you to, to get this. But I cannot help you to praise God. Oh, no. It must come from within you based on your revelation knowledge of what God has done for you and whom God is. Worshiping is praising God for who God is. Praising is adoring God for what God has already done. Either pre or before. Listen, you must be, you must, it's an attitude. Tell your neighbor, praising God is an attitude. <laughs> but thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. How does God inhabit Judah? How does God? In having praises, in praises is where God dwells. So when 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 you praise in God, God comes down to fill your praises. It is not about His blessing coming down. If you want to feel the presence of God. You want to touch God. Listen, you have so seed, you are paying time, you are fasted, and nothing changes. Create an attitude of worshiping God. Yes. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Oh no. Because Satan knows the importance, the, the, the potency, the validation that is impressed. So he will create anything to distract you. To take away the presses. So you come to church. You are tensed. Your mind is not here. Pastor is preaching. You are thinking of what you will eat after. after. Because Satan knows the importance. He will do everything to call distraction. From you praising God. And praises come from inside. It's not the outward one we do. What we do, the, the singing we're talking about, it's not, it's not the worship, it's not the praises we're talking. It must come from within. Praising God must come from within. And not until when you get there, you're not getting to God. Oh my goodness. You, 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 you can take all, all week to practice. Uh, as, as choir, and you come here if you are not in the spirit. It's just a waste of time. It must come from within. Understanding this is my God. This is the only time that, that my best can be given to God. Then God comes to inhabit. He, he, he descend and be among us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. May the grace and ability to praise God come upon you. Amen. Challenges are in every table when it comes to human being and human nation. Challenges will come. There will be time that you will look for a dollar, you won't find dollar. I have been there, but God is always there. 
Oh no. If only you can focus on him, he's always there. Amen. Open your Bible to the book of Genesis. Let us do some little thing there. I'll take myself out of it. Genesis 29. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is good. Genesis 29, look at from verse 31 to 35. When the Lord saw that Leah was unloved, he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. So Leah conceived and bore a son, and she called his name Reuben. For she said, The Lord has surely looked on my affliction. Now, therefore, my husband will love me. Then she conceived again and bought his son and said, Because the Lord has heard that I am unloved, he has therefore given me this son also. And she called his name Simon. She conceived again and bought his son and said, Now this time my husband will become attached to me because I have borne him three sons. Therefore his name was called Levi. Lastly, and she conceived again and bore a son and said, Now I will praise the Lord. Therefore, she called his name Judah. Then she stopped bearing. You see, in her first, second, third birth, what was profound and paramount to Leah was her husband. Yeah. Ability to gain the heart, the affection of her husband. That was what was paramount to her. And God keep giving until now she realizes that wow even though i have eight children for him if he's not going to love me he will love me no no you don't get that now even though you have your bank account fill up with billions if your wife will be shitting on you she will shit on you okay don't, don't let us go there we don't have people like that in the house. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. God, we do everything as human beings to please each other. We, we want to have, you know, good record. I, I don't want to offend pastor. I don't want to offend mommy. I don't want to. So we do everything to please each other. But when it comes to God, because God is not here. So, so we, we, we put him at the back. He's a loving God. He's a merciful God. You have forgotten that he's a killer. We only see one side of God. But we, we never consider the other part. He killed unannounced. In Isaiah 45, 7, he says, I created light, I created darkness. I created evil. And I created good. Uh, see, I kill. And I make a life. I did all. And that is God. He created darkness. He created light. As he is a merciful God. So he is a terrible God. Bible call him a terrible. A terrible God of Jacob. He's terrible. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Are we together? Don't put your mind. And your focus on pleasing man. Please God. Amen. Don't struggle to be in the good record book of a man. Amen. A mere mortal man. Amen. Who can sleep this night and go from there. Please God. Amen. Don't be scared of he who can kill the body but cannot kill your soul. Amen. I will be afraid of him who can say, okay, they are pronounced you dead even though 40 days. Nazareth, you are coming back to life. He owns the key to the throne of the Every door Jesus closed, no demon can open it. And every door he opened, no demon can close it. Fear God and not man. Leah for those three times. Now we don't know the, 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 the period, how long it takes before she can see. But I believe it's not going to be one more year. Let's say, just for the sake of, let's say for those period of 10 years. Leah was so conscious about pleasing her husband. She wanted to get her attention. And she put God second drill in her life. 
Let me please him. Let me make him good food. Or let, let, let me just to catch his attention. But when he now changed to praise God and God bless him ha, with a son who is greater than every other son. Say, I have praised you. Now I will call his name Judah because I have praised him. And Judah became not just the voice, he became our redeemer. He became our redeemer. He, he, he beat the Levites, Lord giver. Bible said the law will not pass away from him until Shiloh come. Jesus Christ came in, he, he, he beat that law. He, Jesus can become the Lord giver from the tribe of Judah and he redeem and reconcile us back unto God. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Put your mind on God and not on human being. Please God and not man in the year 2019. Praise God and not man in 2019 and see what God will do for you. See what God will do for you. They left Egypt. They, 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 after they have sold Joseph into captivity, they left Canaan. They were going to Egypt. They got into the land of, 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 of Egypt. And Jacob, their father, with dim eyes, said, Reuben, step aside. Simeon, step aside. Levi, step aside. Judah, go and tell your brother that we have arrived. Take us to Goshen. He was the one who said the Israelite fought to go to Goshen. Why well, was him? When praises go forth, you know the mind. God reveal His intention. When your praises touch God, God reveal His sovereignty to you. You see Him in a different way. Your eyes of understanding will be widely open, whether it is closed or it is. He, he will reveal the secret. Oh my Jesus. Psalm 25 verse 14. Sorry brother. Bible say the, the secret of God is revealed to those who fear him. You, you, you don't get it. Let me turn to these worshippers. The, the, the secret of God. Maybe. The secret of your 2019 we only be revealed to you if you can stand in awe in the presence of God. If you, if you, if you learn how to, to reference God. In Amos 3, 7. See, I won't do anything without revealing to my sons the prophet. In Proverbs chapter 25, verse 2. Bible says, it is the honor of God to conceal, to hide a matter from you. But it is your own honor, your own glory to discover it. How will you discover? How will you search if you don't know the mind of God? First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. The Bible says it's the secret things belongs to God, brother, and said the to tonight. But the reveal belongs. How do you want to know the mind of God if you don't know the spirit of God? If you don't have the spirit of God, if you can't reference God, how will you please God? How can you please me if you don't know what I need? Amen. Amen. Oh, you see, Pastor loves some clothes. If I have some people now, my color, they know it here. So you buy something that is off my color, I might take it, but listen, I won't appreciate it much. But you be with me this way, you know my color. Even before you bring it, I see I'm attracted to that color. Yes, yes, yes. God is attracted to praises. Yes. Can, can I say it better way? Yes, yes. He's not demanding. He's at ah, any better word for attraction? Ah, they are they are looking. He's attracted. The invisible God, even though he's in invisible and lives in the invisible terrain. But once he sees praises, once he hears praises, God descend. That is his food. Gold and silver belongs to him. The cow tools the on the thousands of men to belong. If he needs sacrifices, 
He, he would have taken it without asking you. But he demands your praise. God demands your praise. God needs our praise. Not the complainings. Hello? Not the murmurings. Not the gossiping and biting. He just needs our praise. Israelite murmured and complained. They never got into the promised land. They murmured. They complained. They reasoned for God. They had every reason not to go to the promised land. And God said, listen, number 14, 28, as you have spoken to my hearing, so I will do. All of you who had murmured this far, who has complained this far, who have been unappreciative this far, none of you will get to the Canaan land. Yeah. Tell your brother and sister, I appreciate what, what, what you have. He fed them with manna from heaven. For 40 years, they never appreciated it. He brought forth water from the rock. They were still complaining. What else will he do before you know that he's God? What else will God do for our brother and sister before we know that we're serving a living God? If you have a thousand in your account and you are complaining, if you have one million, you will complain. You have one house, you are complaining. If you have 10 houses, you will still be complaining. It's a conviction. It's a spirit. You have one cloth, you are complaining. If you have 10 shoes, you will still be complaining. You will. You have 20 pairs of shoes, you are complaining. If you have 100, you will still be complaining. You will still be complaining. Because it's a spirit. It's a spirit. Let praises go for. Praises is a spirit. Hello? Praises is a spirit. Ability to praise God is an attitude. The attitude comes out of the spirit of God. When the spirit come upon David, David was dancing like a madman, but he wasn't a madman. He was ready to be mad in the presence of God. But he wasn't mad. He knew the secret of getting to God. Hallelujah. He knew the secret of getting to God. He was in the presence of Abimelech. The book of Psalm 34. He was in the presence of Abimelech. He, Bible says he fainted as a madman. He pretended to be a madman. He escaped narrowly. That time he penned what we now know to be Psalm 34. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. A man who just pretended to be a madman. To escape from, from, from imminent danger. That was when he painted it down. That I will, even when I appear to be mad, when the king wants to kill me, when my brothers and sisters are pursuing me, I will praise the Lord. Amen. When will you praise God? Amen. When will you praise God? You, you, you know, see, I see you a minute. When will you praise God? Uh, are you sure you want to praise God? Uh, are you sure you are in the house of God today to praise God? Are you sure you, got, you can take off your shoe and just pretend it as if yes, God is with you. And you rock with him. You dance with him. You embrace him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is good. And all the time. Amen. Numbers 2. Verse 3 and 9 as I round up. We will praise God. Choir, get ready. Yes. Numbers chapter 2. Hallelujah. Ah, I will praise God at all times. When I have, I will praise God. When I don't have, I will praise God. When I'm down, I will praise God. When I'm standing, I will praise God. When somebody quit, I will praise God. When somebody is with me, I will praise God. When they believe in me, I will praise God. When they don't believe in me, I will praise God. All I need is to believe in myself. I believe God is with me. I will praise God at all times. Morning, noon, evening, middle of the night. I resolve, I chose, I made up my mind in 2019. Satan will not see me cry. I will praise God. The enemy will not see me cry. I will not murmur. I will not complain. I resolve within me by the spirit of the living God. 
in 2019 for me and my house and for all that the lord has blessed us with we will praise god from january february march april may june july august september october november december we all will praise hallelujah we will praise god when we praise God, when we praise God, He will make way for us. Where it seems to be no way, He will make way for us. When we praise God, He will add more unto us. Joy and comfort, the fruit of the Spirit. Once we praise God, God will join in 2019. God has already joined us. We will praise Him at all times. Numbers 2. Look at verse 3 and verse 9. Numbers two. Thank you, Lord. This is the wilderness journey. I don't know, maybe there's somebody who is in the wilderness this morning. But when you praise God, God will take you out of that wilderness. On the east side, toward the rising of the sun, those of the standard of the forces with Judah shall camp according to their armies, and Nashon, the son of Aminadab, shall be the leader. Of the children of Judah. Go to verse 9. All who are numbered according to the armies of the forces with Judah, 186,400, this shall break camp first. They were the first to break through the wilderness into the Canaan land. I prophetically declare this morning, whether you say yeah or no, whether you agree with me physically or not, I speak to your spirit. You are coming out of your wilderness. In 2019, you are your household. I don't know what you have been struggling with. I don't know where you are struggling. I don't know what you are struggling for. In 2019, today being the first Sunday of this year, you are coming out of your wilderness. I push you to your Canaan land. I push you to your Canaan land. The land of promise. The land that flow with meat and honey. Where there is no scarcity. The Lord take you there. The insight. The wisdom. The knowledge. The human resources. The financial resources. That is needed for you. To be established in your Canaan land. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. Ah. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I want you to sing. Ah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Say 
minutes to just enjoy the presence of God. The, 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 the worshippers are going to lead us to the presence of God. We Hallelujah. just praise Him. Yes. Praise Him and just yes. listen. Forget about what you yes. left behind yes. or what you're going to fail when you get. Just praise Him. Hallelujah. Listen, get lost. Get lost in the presence of God. Show Him gratitude. Create an atmosphere to express. Listen, an unexpressed gratitude is an ingratitude. Oh, I, I wanted to do it, but I am I, I'm shy. Then you are you are ungrateful. Amen. Till 65 days is gone. We, we've entered another war. Hallelujah. What is to pre prevent you from praising God? No, 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 amen to that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're ready, we are ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. to dance. Yes. Amen. Amen. I 
rise up. All right, Almighty God, I love you, thy name. Almighty God, I love you, thy name. Manifesting. Thank you for the transformation that's already taking place. Thank you for the elevation that's already taking place. In the atmosphere, the devil has lost his dream. The chains and shackles are broken. Our bodies are lifted up. Yokes are being broken. Life is being transformed. Hallelujah. Amen. May we have a say thank you, cry. God bless you. God delight in your sacrifices and your praises. And the Lord reward you immensely. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We're about to bring our meeting to a close. But as our culture now, not tradition, we eat from the Lord's table the first Sunday of the month. So today is that day. But I'm going to call on Pastor Ema. If that is okay, sir. You can just uh, bless the offer, I mean, bless the, the food and just speak a word to the church. I believe uh, God will help you. Amen. Yeah, can you? You will take part. Right? God bless. Hallelujah. Um, and God bless all his children. Amen. I want to start by reading something on the scripture. Um, my Bible is in Spanish, so I'm going to use my phone to. Uh, to recite the Bible. Um, it's in Philippians uh, 4, and it says, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, it says, Therefore, my brothers and sisters, you whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, dear friends. I plead with Eudicea, and I plead with Sintisi, 
to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you, my true companion, help these women since they have contented at my side in the cause of this gospel, along with Clement and the rest of my co-workers, whose names are in the book of life. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Amen. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellence or praiseworthy. Think about such things. I want to say that uh, we're thankful to be here. I've enjoyed myself a lot. Um, Pastor was saying, um, I'll be quick. Um, Pastor was saying that um, if we come here and we do a show, as he was saying, it is not a show, then I wasted my time. It's almost like bringing my offering as Cain, then it would not be accepted. But if I bring my offering to God as Abel was or did, then his presence is going to accept that. And I was, I was thinking of something that he said as, as, um, uh, seek for that, that, uh, presence in this year. Um, I was thinking that most of the time, uh, the world, uh, being now July, I mean, um, uh, to, to 2019, January 2019, in the previous days, there has always been a resolution for them as to go to the gym, lose weight, do this, or stop doing that. And for the most part, it transcends from the mentality that you lack something or you failed at this. But when he was preaching, I got this message that for 2019, for me, would be a new resolution in this sense. Not the same aspect of it, but in this sense, to seek his presence for the whole year. And that's what I received today. It's my second time here. Give the applause as glory to God in his name, our Savior, Jesus. Um, so it's my second time here. And the first time I was here, it was a Bible study. And when I kneeled down, again, I felt the presence because we can worship, we can sing, we can dance, we can do all of that. But what is when it's taught the word that it reaches into your heart and it does that change that we all need so desperately. I understand that you guys wanted it. I'm a little more fluent than my pastor. I'm still going to have him bless the, um, the, uh, the, um, the bread and for today's uh, ceremony. So I just wanted to say thank you for having us. We enjoyed ourselves and to God is all the glory and amen. Vamos a orar. God bless everybody. We're not here like speaking this at all. It's not. It's not because we don't want. It's uh It's because we we're learning. Hello. Amen. Somebody home. Amen. So let's let's pray for for a bless. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless. Hallelujah. 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 On the night preceding the day that Christ was going to be crucified for the remission of our sin, Bible says he took up the cup of the wine, he blessed it, and he gave it unto them, and he commanded us, us to do that. So in remembrance for his blood that will be shed on, on our behalf for remission of our sin. And the same trend, he brought the bread, he blessed the bread, he broke it, and he gave it unto them, and he commanded us to do it as often as we can in remembrance of his body that will be broken for the remission of our sin. It is our prayer that even as we partake from this table, that every man and of sin in our life be washed away, that the Spirit of God come upon us afresh in the name of Jesus. That strength be released into our life 
ability to perceive the goodness of God, the grace of God be released upon us, that our weaknesses turn to strength, we will not eat into condemnation in the name of Jesus. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ of Nazareth as we all partake. This Hallelujah. Is my desire. We are going to eat together. To honor.